Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Logitech review video. In this video, we'll be doing a comparison between the C920 on the left side here and the C270 on the right. I've been using both of these cameras at different times for a couple years now in my videos, and I've actually had some questions about the comparison between these, so I figured I'd do a video. In this video, I'll start out by doing a comparison between the look and the build quality of these, their mounting brackets and how they can be mounted, then their compatibility with different OSs and devices, and then we'll finish up with a video comparison and then an audio comparison so you can see the difference between not only the high resolution in the video but also the microphones in these devices. If you'd like to see reviews specific to either the C920 or the C270, check the description because I have posted video reviews for both of these and I will add a link down there. So let's start out with the prices of each of these. The C920 on the left side can be found on Amazon or Best Buy for about $60 to $70 and you can actually get it for a little bit less than that if you buy a refer version. Now the C270 on the right is about 20, 30, maybe a little bit more than that. You can also find refurbished versions of that on Amazon as well. Now check the description. If you would like to support me, I will have Amazon affiliate links down there so you can find these exact devices on Amazon if you're looking to buy them. All right, so let's get into the mounting brackets on these. Both of these have mounting brackets that can go down flat so they can be stored easily or you can set them on a table. But when it comes to hooking them to a monitor, they fold down, as you can see, now the mounting bracket on the C920 does have some nice rubber in it, and this can fit a monitor that is about two inches thick. So that's just something to note depending on the size of whatever you're mounting it to. Where the C270 does not have as much rubber, it does have on the lip up here and then down here, and this can fit about an inch and a half, so just a little bit smaller. Now if you're gonna be doing it to a monitor, it can get down pretty small, and I have used the C720 on a Chromebook or a laptop with no issue, but there is a big advantage on the C920. It has a flap that goes out, so you can apply some pressure to a monitor or even a small Chromebook if you wanted to, and this will be a much more secure mount. In addition to that, the C920 does have a standard quarter inch tripod mount on it. So if you wanted to actually use this with a tripod in an office or maybe security to take badge photos, something like that, you can definitely use it for that. It's easier to use and more versatile. Now when it comes to actually having them mounted, you can adjust the camera on the C920 and the C720 up and down but you cannot do it left and right. So on the C720 here, you can see this will go up and down, but you cannot turn it left and right. That's just a limitation with both of these cameras. Now looking at the front of these, definitely the C920 looks a lot better, looks more professional, and you do have a very nice piece of glass that sits over the lens. There's no protection for the actual lens, and if you were to scratch this glass, that's gonna show up in the video. Where the C270 has no glass lens on the outside to protect it, but, the lens is actually set within the device like a quarter of an inch. So you can touch it right here, you can put it in a backpack and you don't have to worry about it getting scratched as much. So that's just something to note if you're gonna be traveling a lot with it. The C920 also has a little bit more weight to it. It does feel to be a little bit beefier and better built. Where the C720 feels a little bit cheaper, it also has this plastic that can come off of it and come loose. So it may not be as durable in some settings. Now let's talk about compatibility with these devices. Both have the same compatibility. They will work with just about every modern Windows version. They will work with all Macs and they will also work with Chromebooks. So Chrome OS is not gonna be an issue with these if you have a school Chromebook or a work provided Chromebook, you'll be able to use either of these cameras with a Chromebook. I've also tested both of them with an Xbox One and they both worked. So no issues there if you're going to be trying to do some live streaming with that. Now before we get into the actual video test and the microphone test, let's go over the stats there. The C920 on the left side over here can output up to 1080p full HD video. So if you're gonna be doing live streaming or videos with this, I would recommend this camera over the C270 just because you're gonna get that more professional look out of it. Or the C270 only offers up to 720p video quality. Now, so it's gonna be half the resolution, but if you're using a camera for work, that should suffice. Now, when it comes to taking pictures with these devices, the C920 on the left side can do up to 15 megapixels, where the C720 on the right side can only do three megapixels. So a big difference there with the resolution. If you're gonna be taking pictures with these devices, I would definitely say it's worth it to spend the money on the C920. Now, with the audio quality out of the microphone, on these devices. The C920 has two microphones. As you can see, these are where the microphones are gonna be. And 
it actually has stereo output, so it'll have stereo audio left and right tracks, where the C270 only has one microphone in the middle, so you're not gonna have that stereo. Although in the testing I'm about to show you, I do think the C270 has better sound quality from the microphone, so definitely check that out. All right, so now that we talked about the build and the design of these two webcams, as well as their compatibility and features, let's go ahead and do a quick video comparison and then audio comparison between the microphones so that you can clearly make a decision when you're trying to purchase either of these. All right, so as you can see here, I have video from both of the cameras side by side. On the left side, we have the Logitech C920, and then on the right side, we have the Logitech C720. So both of these are outputting at the highest resolution they have available. So right off the bat, as you can see with the C920, you do get a wider field of view. This is going to pick up a larger room, whereas it's a little bit zoomed in on the C720. So that might be better if you're just doing videos like this where you're kind of close up to the camera and you're not gonna be moving around a lot. Another difference that I think is very important to point out is the C920 has autofocus, where that's lacking on the C720. So if I put my hand up here, you can kind of see how the C920 will fix that, and it'll adjust so that it can pick up full in focus whatever is in front of it and moving. So pretty cool there. That's very responsive, it fixed it in about a couple seconds. So if for some reason you move farther away from the camera or closer to the camera, it's going to adjust that so that you can get a clear shot. Additionally, I think it's important to point out the color differences here. The saturation in the C920 on the left side is much better. The color of my shirt, the red, comes through much clearer and looks better than the C720. So really that's just a preference on what you want the quality of your video to be. Now when it comes to motion, I don't think any of these cameras have an issue there. If I move my hands around, you can kind of see how it's a little bit blurry, but just in, while I'm moving fast, so I don't think that that's a big issue. That's kind of to be expected with any camera. Now that we've gone through some of the differences with the video quality here, let's test out the built-in microphones on each of these cameras. All right, so the audio you're currently hearing is coming through the microphone on the Logitech C920. Now, it does have a little bit of a muffled noise, but you'll notice that compared to the C720, you don't have a lot of background noise. So it does cancel out some of that background noise. Another thing that's important to note with the C920 is it also has stereo audio. So you're going to have a left and a right track, which is going to make it more of an enjoyable experience for your viewers. Let's go ahead and move over to the C720's microphone. So now you're hearing audio coming through the microphone on the C720. And while it is a cheaper webcam, in my opinion, it sounds better than the C920. You do get a little bit more background noise, but I think it's easier to understand what I'm saying. It doesn't sound like I'm speaking through a tunnel. Now keep in mind, this is not stereo. It's only going to be mono, which can make it a little bit lower quality if you're going to be using this for videos, but that really is just up to you for preference. Something to note before you get it. All right, so that was a quick video and audio comparison between the Logitech C920 on the left side here and the C270 on the right. Hopefully that gave you a good idea of what to expect if you're going to be purchasing one of these for the video and the audio quality. I do think that overall the C920 does win if you're trying to get good video quality, but if you really just need a webcam for work or school or something to talk with family, I would definitely recommend recommend the C270 for the lower cost. If you have any questions about these two Logitech webcams, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Logitech review videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.